Welcome back, gang. It's Deltia from DeltiasGaming.com. Some big news here about not only weekend battleground events, possibly, but new hardware for PC, EU, and console mega servers. We just got a post from Gina Bruno, community manager. I'm going to read this, go over it, and kind of explain what this could mean for the Elder Scrolls Online. While the aforementioned back end work is still ongoing, including sourcing the new hardware for PC, EU, and console mega servers, we did want to share a couple changes coming to PvP that will be going into update 35. First, we're implementing some tech that will allow us to easily activate special battleground weekend events without requiring any server downtime to start or stop. The plan will be feature a single game mode over several days and also grant 25% increased AP while participating. Outside of these recurring battleground features, we're also planning to increase the amount of XP you can earn doing various type of PvP activities within Cyrodiil and Imperial City, including killing monsters and other player characters, or completing quests in these areas. We will look forward to testing everything out in the next PTS cycle so we can officially kick these off once Update 35 launches. Wow, that's a big one. So what I'm taking away from this is the PC EU and the console mega servers are pretty close, maybe, to getting the back end work going. It might be this is what's holding up the battleground events is just the tech because PC NA right now performing dramatically better with the hardware refresh. You didn't watch any previous videos. Essentially, what it means is these servers, specifically PC and A, were 2012 tech. They refreshed refreshed them. It dramatically improved the performance. Sometimes frame rate drops, sometimes it still lags, sometimes you get disconnects, but you can actually use your abilities in the heat of big, huge battles. And that was the biggest thing to make PC in a great playing Cyrodiil again. So this kind of foreshadows that this might happen sooner than we think, giving people some hope on PC, EU, and console that the refresh might improve in performance in Cyrodiil battlegrounds and maybe even pve now they've talked about the weekend events previously and it's kind of foreshadowing what these could actually be 25 percent increased ap while participating that does a couple of different things it gives you a reason to jump into pvp start collecting some of the aps you can buy gear you can sell potions for gold or you can just have more fun if the servers are working better and they're refreshed and you have a lot more people and population playing outside of a chapter launch this is going to be great for the longevity and the health of the pvp community the downside and what i'm not liking seeing if i'm being honest here is different rewards and incentives outside of ap so if you look at the card games incentives you look at the card game ranked pvp structure it's absolutely incredible and if you're really good at the card game you get really good incentives to play it if you look at pve incentives same sort of thing you're doing normal random dailies every day and you're starting to get tons and tons of transmutes and you can do the veteran trials and if you're really sweaty pve or you get mounts and cool titles mementos even things for your house whatever it is so i think this is a step in the right direction what they need to do and improve to make the long-term and longevity of the pvp folks happy like myself model the card game tales of tributes incentives and rewards 25 percent ap is a great place to start but we need cool things to collect we need new cool mounts we need titles I got my emperor thrown in my costume back in what 2015 I even got it on three or four different characters because it was just kind of a fun achievement to get but outside of that I'm like well why should I get grand overload and like really work towards it right away in a bunch of different characters so I can get a die or increase the uh, level of AP instead of making it a five star and make it something else there's a whole bunch of ideas that we could do here to make it so you have something to grind outside of AP is once you're capped what's the point we need cool shiny things so again great step in the right direction i'm looking forward to the tech refresh because if you're listening to this i'm not bsing you pcna is a riot to play in fact the population is almost two to three bars if not pock blocked at all times throughout the day it's been a little bit slower since everyone's getting their mythics right now but the population has come back because that's why people left the game that are pvpers anyways the combat's great it just didn't function very well in Cyrodiil. i think to bring those people back getting those server hardware is refreshed and shorted out is good but giving us long-term incentives something to grind over and over and over is the way to seal the deal and make ESO PvP thrive for the long term. Well, that's just my opinion. What do you all think? Is this a step in the right direction? Not enough? Are you excited about the hardware refresh? Or where do we land on this as a community? 
We'll have to find out. Update 35 should be in a couple months since uh, ESO just launched High Isles on console. So PTS probably is going to be in August, maybe a little bit earlier. So check me out on twitch.tv slash Gaming if you want to see that live coming up in the months ahead. PvP, we got some hope here. This is a good one. Thanks for watching.